Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you all know, I have published around 9 lessons on test project automation tool. So I have covered a lot of concepts like web UI automation, end-to-end -end flow, uh, and then API automation, end-to-end -end flow, and how can you combine API automation and web UI automation together. So all these concepts, okay? So you can visit those, vi those videos okay which will be uh, very helpful for you guys okay and so this is our lesson 10 where i'll be covering the concept of artificial artificial intelligence so everyone and every tool these days talks about artificial intelligence okay so now i'm going to show you a demo how this artificial powered self healing technology works with test project automation tool while automating our test cases. I'm going to show you a real time example where this artificial powered self healing technology can handle a different scenarios while automating and while running the automated scripts by using test project automation tool. Okay. So, so let's uh, basically please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts now let's jump onto the system and see how does this ai powered self-healing technology works with test project okay so if you see first of all what is this ai powered self-healing the self-healing is a process that can locate elements on the application when the primary locator fails to identify the objects. That means if whenever you automate your application and let's assume you are executing your automation test scripts in the new build. So then what if one of the object primary locator has been changed? So then artificial intelligence comes into picture. The tool should be able to manage the failure of the locator changes and it should heal itself by identifying the object. Okay. So that's what the test project has that capability. It is a artificial, artificial intelligence powered even though the primary locator is failed, it can identify the objects. How? I'm going to show you with example. Okay. And also it can handle dynamic elements. Basically how it is helpful. This artificial artificial intelligence powered self-healing. Self how it is helpful? It is helpful. It can handle dynamic elements that change every day. Because let's say you have one object uh, which object locator changes dynamically every day. So such scenarios can be handled with artificial AI powered with AI. Okay. And also you can handle the backend changes in the element locators as I explained you. Right. If you see example here, there is a username object. Okay. This is one element on your web UI. Let's assume I'm using a locator called ID for the username. When I am automating this application, the locator ID is UN1234. Let's assume once I automated, I got a new build with some changes. Okay. And now when I am running the scripts, let's assume the username primary locator ID got changed from 1234 to 5678. Then what happens? Your script fails 100% but because of this artificial intelligence test project tool can handle these type of scenarios and also it can identify the object even though the locator has been changed and hence the maintenance of automation tests becomes very very easy and it saves a lot of time for us. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system 
and let me show you practically step by step how this artificial intelligence works with test project automation tool okay so let's jump onto the system so now let me automate a simple login functionality and show you how does this artificial intelligence works with test project okay so for this i'm going to take the same hrm portal that we are working from past a uh, couple of lessons okay so for that let's click on new test and take a uh, web as a new test web test right click on next and then name this test as ai tests okay and click on next and then select the same hrm application that we are using from earlier okay click next and then select recording and start recording so as soon as you start recording it opens the application that you would like to automate right so and also it's gonna open the wizard where you can add the validations right so if you see here it opened the application so don't mind uh, the language of the application if you see it's not in english that's okay for us uh, so now let me just log into the application admin it is recording all our steps okay and then click on connection so as soon as you cl click on connect it's done right so now let's pass this okay so let me log out from here okay so now because so i i need not to click on each and every edit box so that's why i'm just removing the click options here i'm just removing the click right so basically navigate to this url type username type password click on button so that's our let's let's execute this again let's run this test and see admin entered the password click done that's it so now now let's do one thing now okay what if the property so what property of this particular username is changed let's assume what is the username property that it has taken let's click here the username it says text username okay so what if the property of this text username is changed what happens we have to see right for that what i'm going to do i'm going to change the property of this username to let's say username one two three okay and then let me save this element okay so that means your property of your username has been changed okay let's assume your actual property is txt username but in the latest build let's say your old property is txt username 123 okay if you see your old property is txt 123 but in your new build they have removed 123 from username so that's why we have changed the name here okay so now let's execute and see how does this test project handles this scenario okay let's run this if you observe closely it says navigated to this application if you see here type admin it's not able to element in step 2 is missing and does not match so don't worry test project AI is looking for an another path forward so basically now it is applying artificial intelligence so now it's able to identify and it's completed if you see it's giving one once the test is completed it is telling you because the current username locator is this but the uh, artificial intelligence got another css locator which is called name equal to so basically instead of one css locator it actually taken another css locator right so it is asking to confirm if this is fine to you okay so you can just click on confirm so as soon as you click on confirm if you see 
the my first step is passed my second step it shows the ai has been implemented so whenever you see the heart symbol that means this step has been self healed okay this is passed this is passed but this one is self healed by artificial intelligence and executed if you go to the details it says the actual it was actually searching for this and this has been self healed right the original locator was this but this has been self self healed okay right what if okay let's say um so let's assume if this again let's assume this locator also changed this locator also changed let's say 456 this locator has been changed now save this and go back here let's execute let's run the test again what happens see we'll see oh sorry i think okay it's going to fail i think so let me let me close this sorry what we did actually we haven't okay let me run this again okay let me run this again okay i'm just clicking on recorder to open the browser okay and then i'm going to run so earlier what we did actually we haven't gone back to the we haven't gone back to our login page okay so we'll just start recording it opens the portal okay so what we did actually we have changed the locator again the alternative locator whatever uh, test project has identified we have changed that as well again and see now what happens let's run this first step successful so now if you see again it is actually missing it is not able to it is not able to identify the object so now again it's going to find the alternative path by using ai artificial intelligence if you see it self healed successfully right if you see here now xpath it is taking the xpath instead of css selector now right it took the other one also so let's confirm this if you see here again it is self healed right so now let me take another example where artificial intelligence works very well let me take other scenario another scenario so this time i would like to take uh, uh the website uh, test project ivo okay and show you uh, how does this um, artificial intelligence works okay so if you see here okay let me do one thing let me close the previous test and start a new test okay so let's click on new test select web and name this as test project ivo okay test project ivo click on next let me copy this url and then add a new url test project ivo and then add the url click done <clears throat> now the url whatever we added has been selected okay click on next and then record the session okay so as soon as you rec click on record it's going to open the test project ivo website and also the editor okay so here is our website so now i would like to show another scenario where test project uses its artificial intelligence self healing technology to identify the object okay if you see here when i if we have one performance if you see here platform the platform so as soon as okay let me close this okay let me close this window so as soon as you hover over on platform i'm not clicking on this platform right i'm just hovering on this platform and then 
I am just clicking on AI tools that works for you. Okay, as soon as you click on that, your step has been the previous one. Let me just close this one because we just closed the pop up whatever we received, right? So what I did is I just recorded the step where I hover on this, I clicked on AI tool. So if you see, it recorded only the click. It never recorded the hover functionality, right? I'm how hovering the on platform. That step is not recorded, but we clicked on this. It's recorded this. Now let's run this test and see what happens because when it opens the URL and then trying to click on this hover object, right? It will not be able to find. But still, artificial intelligence will help test project to identify the object. Okay, let me run this. Okay. When I run this, it opened this. If you see, it's not able to. If the step 2 is missing and does not match define locator, don't worry. Now, A is looking for another path forward. So, it automatically identifies the sub menu. See, it opens. It hovered the on the element and it automatically clicked on this. So that means it self healed and it is able to identify the object which is not displaying by hovering on the platform, right? So this is the way the artificial artificial intelligence works in test project. Mm -hmm. So this is the way the test project handles the locator changes dynamic changes very well by using artificial intelligence hope you all understand the concept if you have any questions please leave your leave your comments in the comment box i'll try to reply to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you